What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the wood shop, and we are still working on this crazy vo volcano mountain type of thingy, and uh, Man, I don't even know what we're calling it anymore. Man, we got some crazy stuff we're going to be working on. Some of that crazy stuff that we're going to be working on for the mountain here is just going to be a whole bunch of special details. So right here, you guys can see we printed off some letters, which is going to spell out Japan. We found this really, really cool font, so we like that, and that's going to go on here somewhere. We're not really too sure. We're thinking actually maybe on this Paduke stripe. Not 100% sure on that yet. We also found these dragons over on the internet just to google search some clip art and then printed these off so these look really really cool these are actually gonna be a big big challenge to try to cut out on the scroll saw because they are such fine detail but we are gonna be using this piece of rock maple right here so what do we got to do with that so we gotta go over to the bandsaw, we gotta do some resawing, but before we start doing that, we gotta actually take that blade off and clean it because it's got a bunch of grime and junk and dirt on it, and it's not gonna clean, it's not gonna cut very well if we don't clean it, so we'll start cleaning. process of cleaning this bandsaw blade we're gonna need some type of bucket perfect so now what we gotta do is we gotta fill it with some soapy water so whoa guys i'm telling you the convenience of that look at that soapy water right there so now we just gotta like put the blade in there you know and start cleaning it so let's do it Okay guys, so we got all of our pieces right here. We just finished up on the band, so we decided to include this piece of zebra right here for all the letters, so that should look pretty cool. Anyway, we gotta head over to the drum stander right now, clean all these pieces up, so let's just get that done. Alrighty guys, so we finished up here with the dragons. We went ahead, we found this really massive piece of walnut. We set it on this table here because we wanted to make sure that these things can actually pop. So as you guys just saw, we took a couple clips of these things, looking real nice right here. And uh, that's how they should look realistically once they get onto the cabinet because the cabinet is walnut. So uh, just really liking the way those are looking right there. But what we're gonna do now, start working on those letters. You got that uh, that high contact uh, man, spray. Sticky, sticky glue, man. So that's what we're gonna be doing glue. is taking these Japan letters, well, the letters that spell out Japan, and we're gonna stick them down to the zebra wood right here. It's gonna be pretty cool because the grain's all gonna match up. So let's stick these down, start cutting these out, and let's just get right into it. pieces all sanded up here looking really really nice so we're just kind of laying them out here to see what it's actually going to look like so you guys can get kind of an idea but basically all these are sanded now we went ahead we also did the dragons as well so those are looking pretty proper right now but what we're going to be doing is we're going to crack open that can of oil stain right Man, i got a can of oil stain right here some sam maloof poly oils pretty and nice stuff we use it on most of our projects pretty much everything we do in here <laughs> yeah uh, but... so what we're going to do is actually the japan letters we're going to do both dragons first and then before we actually stain the mountain, I'm gonna do some sanding, making sure it's perfect because there's some there's some minor scratches in here, man. Yeah, so a couple of scratches occurred that we noticed when we put it under the light here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But we wanna make sure that this thing's absolutely perfect before we put the finish on there. So just, you know, a little like what, you're doing like 120 well, to gonna, 400 Well, I did a 120 on it. We'll do 120 again, and then we'll go from like 120 to 220. 
maybe a 300, but I don't wanna go too much because, well, the oil has to soak into some type of grain. And well, if I do like a 1200 grit on there, it's like smooth like glass. Yeah, we don't wanna go too crazy with and it. And then it won't soak in and it's not gonna work. But after everything's dry and everything's done, we're gonna be grabbing some super glue. We're gonna be sticking all these pieces down and I hope, hope turns out nice. Us off and it's looking really nice right now. So we finished up with the oil right here. So they're looking really, really nice. We also got this thing all sanded up. So we're pretty much ready to go ahead and start sticking these letters down here, right? You got sticky glue? Man, I got some uh, CA glue. So we're gonna be using this stuff. It's like a super glue and stick these things down, make it look good. And man, I can't wait to finish this. Yeah, thing. it's gonna look real nice. So I guess we'll just jump right into it. Man, let's get the dragons first. all laid out right here looking pretty nice did a little proper photo shoot with this thing but basically the reason why the japan letters are on an angle like this is because this cabinet does stand up straight so if you're wondering that's why they are done like that but just like that guys this video is pretty much wrapped up really appreciate all the support here on the channel so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already but just like that this video is over the next one's gonna get crazier next one after that's gonna get even more crazy so just like that here we go